What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we got a brand new video series coming out. We're going to be reviewing the SSI Enriched Air Nitrox program and I'm going to be taking you through chapter by chapter, video by video, and hopefully this video series is going to help you when you're taking your Enriched Air Nitrox program. Now quick disclaimer, please do not use this video as a way to go out and learn learn how to use nitrox safely you need to be seeking out your local instructor to do that what our goal is is to make a series of videos for you guys to help you pass your final exam when you take the ssi enriched air nitrox program so to kick this video out, of course, we're going to talk about what is nitrox or what is enriched air nitrox. And there's all different types of names. Basically, it's going to be any gas blend that has oxygen and nitrogen mixed together, but where the oxygen content is going to be higher than, say, 21% partial pressure. And that just simply means if you took 100% air, 79% of it's going to be nitrogen, 21% is going to be oxygen. That's where we get the 100% air. But if we boost that 21% to a higher blend, anyway say from 22 percent all the way up to 40 percent this is what we actually call nitrox or the recreational blend for nitrox so it's essentially the same thing that you're breathing now it's just had a little bit of boost of extra oxygen and a little bit of less nitrogen within the mixture now, when we think of enriched air nitrox, typically there's two blends, NOAA 1 and NOAA 2, or sometimes called nitrox 32 and nitrox 36, that are the most common blends. This is what dive shops will bank, this is what you'll see in cascade systems, or this is, are the two most common blends based off recreational depths. But remember, nitrox can be anything from a 22% blend all the way up to a 40% blend. So we're going to learn later on throughout the course how we can use nitrox at different blends and how those different blends are are going to affect us at different depths. Just remember, NOAA 1 and NOAA 2, or 32 and 36 percent, are your two most common blends. So why would a diver ever choose to dive nitrox over air? There's really three different reasons. The first is longer bottom times, and we really need to break this part down. You see, it does extend your no decompression limit because your body's not gonna be absorbing nitrogen quite as fast as what it would with air, but it doesn't necessarily give you more bottom time when we think about the actual amount of gas you take with you. If you have a standard 80 cubic foot aluminum cylinder with air or a standard 80 cubic foot cylinder with uh, nitrox, you're gonna be breathing it up at the exact same rate. So though it can extend your no decompression limit, it doesn't necessarily extend your bottom time based off the air supply you have. So a lot of divers will choose to say dive side mount or doubles where the nitrox can really shine through and give them not only longer no decompression times, it can also give them longer bottom times as well. The second of course is the safety factor. We don't run the risk or quite as much risk for nitrogen narcosis. Since we are breathing a higher partial pressure of oxygen, of course we don't have to worry about the effects of nitrogen quite as much. And then the last reason, of course, is less fatigue. Since we are metabolizing more oxygen throughout the dive and there's more oxygen within that gas blend, it shortens the risk of any type of fatigue throughout your dive. Now, there are some downsides to diving nitrox that we need to cover real quick. One, it does take special training. Number two, it does take specialized equipment. And I don't mean your regulators. Your regulators from the factory are set up for nitrox, as long as you don't go above that 40%. But your cylinders do need to be O2 clean before we fill them up with nitrox and things like that. So it's something that you might want to consider. Number three, nitrox might not always be available. And it may be available, but it might not be available in the blend that you're actually after. Some shops like ours, we can blend any blend up to say 40%. Some shops pre-blend. Some shops actually bank nitrox. And the shops that bank nitrox, that might be the only blend that you're actually getting. So if you're after a specific blend, you may need to look for shops that say pre-blend with a stick or they use some type of partial pressure blending to actually make that mixture. Now the next thing that we want to talk about, of course, is the inherent risk with nitrox. Since we are breathing a higher partial pressure of O2, then of course we do have to or worry about the risk of oxygen toxicity. And this is based, of course, off depth and exposure time. And this is something that your local SSI enriched air nitrox instructor is going to teach you. And then of course the last thing is mistruding nitrox for a deep gas. A lot of people will say nitrox will allow you to go deep when in reality higher partial pressures of O2 actually make you stay shallower throughout your dive. 
So just as a quick summary, what is nitrox? Nitrox is a blend of gas, which is oxygen, nitrogen, just like basic standard 21%. However, the partial pressure of O2 is anywhere, say, between 22% and 40%. This is what we call recreational nitrox. Now, there's a lot of pros to it. It extends your no decompression limits. It shortens up your surface interval. There's some safety factors built in where we don't really run the risk of, say, nitrogen narcosis and things like that. However, there are some cons to it. The blend that you want may not always be available or the blend that you're wanting may not be safe to use at certain depths. Or of course, your equipment may not be set up for nitrox as well. But in general, nitrox is gonna be safe for you to use as long as you have the proper knowledge, skills, equipment, and experience to do so. But once again, guys, please do not use this video as a way for you to go out and dive nitrox. Make sure you're seeking out your local SSI enriched air nitrox uh, instructor to get properly trained to do so. Guys, stay tuned. we got three more videos in this series. We're going to be reviewing chapters two, three, and four. And like I said, don't use this video as training. Simply use it as a way to help you pass your final exam for the SSI Enriched Air Nitrox video. That's going to be it for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.